Okay, so we have Zafman. Uh, okay, wait, what team do we have on the left hand side? Zafman and it's Twisted is Fusion. Twisted Fusion. Okay, I have the names the wrong way around. We quickly. Uh, <laughs> this I knew would happen. There's always got to be something. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that seems okay. Everything seems fine. Boom, okay, so we have Twisted Fusion on the left-hand side here, the blue team on Curse Hollow, the first game of the best of five series between them and uh, who, it, who they get. I have completely mouse control. Down. Mount, team mouse control, yeah, we have Zafman on support, Rhaegar, Jamaru on ETC, Azul's is playing at Hammer, Varakai on the stitches in middle, and Weezer is that Nazebo up at top. Okay, and then over on the side of mouse control in the red today, we have on the Uther, Praden, Zeratul being played by... Bota. I, I'm going to get this one wrong. Bota, that will do. Chen being played by Razalat, Vivala by Zinwin, and finally Tarand by So... Solid SMG. What did you do? Right? Solid SMG. Yeah, I accidentally SMG. clicked... I accidentally clicked somewhere really strange and just teleported me across the map. Anyway... <laughs> Now, I'd like to know, interestingly, Zeratul has taken Regen Master, as has Hammer, level 1. Interesting to see, it's definitely a talent that's gained a bit more popularity since they buffed it in the recent patch, making it the same as Kundra's Pursuit in that you get basically one stack's worth when you pick the talent. Yeah. You get now four base regen straight away without even having to get any orbs, which is quite a big difference, to be honest. Stitches is going for the uh, slam build by looks of things, whilst Jamara on the ETC is going to go for that tankier looking build with block taken up on level 1 as well. It's unusual here to see a Zeratul actually laning. Uh, this yeah. is not something we see very often. But I suppose because he's taken uh, Regen Master, it'd be good for him to lane and get some globes. It does make sense actually from that perspective. He does want to make sure that he stacks that up as early as possible. Razalat having a bit of a rough time against the uh, the Nazebo, as is the Zeratul having a rough time against the Stitches. He's already tapped as well. Uh, that's a hard lane to win against the Stitches, to be honest, whichever hero you're playing. But but Zeratul particularly, you do it doesn't take many slams, and then he's going to be running a little bit low on the health department. So far, we do have mouse control controlling this uh, this hammer push uh, quite uh, quite effectively right now. to quickly move that on my screen. There we go. Wow, I think with uh, with Regen Master on the Hammer, Chen and Zeratul, that is the most Regen Masters I've ever seen in one game. Yeah. It's going to be... F if they get enough, then, you know, that sustain is going to be pretty nice, along with the healing ward from Tarande, who did take it in the end, as long as, long as, uh, as well as the heal from her and the Uther heals. It's going to be relatively good sustain. We see, interestingly, in the level 4 talents, we do see sustained anomaly coming out from the Zeratul, something that's definitely gotten more popular recently after the site nerf to gathering power. It's just a much more reliable source of that extra damage. Yeah, and we're going to have that first tribute going up uh, in the top section there. Barakana Stitch is just trying to pick that up straight away. Not going to be contested, I don't think. Nope. Manages to get that before anyone arrives to contest it. And now we did see Mouse Control did something that it's very often done now, more and more so, and they did pick up their Giants down at the bottom just before the Tribute spawned, so they had some pressure on the other side of the map. So regardless of whether they got the Tribute or not, they just had this uh, this extra pressure that forced people to be divided up between the lanes. Oh, and Vala was killed down in the bottom lane. Missed that. Did not see that one either, but that is a thing that happened, and that leaves that, <laughs> <laughs> that, leaves that lane gaining no experience at the moment for mouse control. Okay. Super apt description. <laughs> Hammer's going to push quite hard, she's in a relatively strong position. Can sit in the brush there, but already taken one tower, about to take that other. Now that Zefman's returned on the Rhaegar, there's absolutely no pressure that can be applied here, really. Getting those two two towers down nice and early, plus the fact that they got the first blood, it's put them about half a level ahead at the moment, which does give them a essentially, as far as it's as far as it matters, a full level's worth of advantage for this tribute. So they're certainly okay. in a good position here, especially managing to get the hammer set up in advance, really stopping people from being able to approach safely. Yeah. And again, it doesn't really look as if mouse control are going to do much against this, but they do. Zafman having to stop channeling the tribute in order to heal up Azul's. 
does pop first aid. That's a good job by them. They weren't able to get to Zafman to interrupt, so they just put enough pressure on his allies to force him to feel the need to, uh, to break a channel. The Uther, Uther wave of light coming in to interrupt, as well as the Tarande Owl, the Zeratul interrupting Zafman, and that Cleave going in, but Bota looks like he's going to be caught out here. Gets hooked, slammed, and just killed. It was a nice thought going into Harass and just stop that channel, but unfortunately he was a little bit too far forward, and that was a good hook. Brought him back, stopped him getting away. And they do get the tribute in the end. It's just a fusion. Looking quite strong. The start of this game. The experience lead has been, uh, it's, it's not quite as high as it, as it was now that uh, they've had Chen, Mouse Control have had Razalat on the Chen up in top lane just soaking that the whole game so far. Oh yeah, they, had a, they did a good job of just uh, delaying that tribute, just making it, they knew it was looking unlikely they were going to be able to get it, so they just made, they just made Twisted Fusion commit more time than they wanted to really to get that tribute, uh, which is good. When, when you know you can't do something, buying yourself time is often the next best option. Right, now both teams are going to be level 10 for this tribute. So. You see Putrid Bile picked up on the stitches. Uh, makes sense, there's three melee, the Zeratul, Uther and Chen, and the Uther will want to stay back a little bit. Definitely going to be, you should get a lot of value out of that. Mosh Pit instead of Stage Dive taken on uh, the UTC, and in fact we see uh, Zafman getting caught out here, a good Divine Storm by the Uther, plus the Rain of Enders, bring him down. Wow, that uh, Jamaru ETC Mosh Pit. Doing a little bit of work, but a lot of uh, zoning from the Void Prism there. Braden dropping very low, going to get picked up by Azul's there. Chen jumping over. So I SMD puts down his healing ward. It's going to go for the full duration. And Oh, he actually gets picked up inside Zombie Wall and taken out by the ETC. Just sliding through, keeping him stunned and locking that down. That means Twisted Fusion are going to get the last tribute they need for the curse. And that is a strong fight from them. And that is going to get the curse now for their team. And it looks like they're going to go and take the boss. Just looking to get even more pressure, I guess. They get the curse now. It forces the enemy team to respond to that and defend all the lanes with the curse. And then they're going to take the boss. And then the boss is going to push down. And then they have to defend against that. And uh, I would say that after that, they would then go and take the enemy's boss. But in fact, probably knowing the situation that they're going to get in, Mouse Control have decided to go and take their own boss now. Yeah, I mean, the out Toronto Owl scouted out that they were taking, uh, Twist Fusion were in fact taking their own loss. And the Zeratul, boat on, boat on that Zeratul rather, is just delaying the hammer as well as providing a bit of harassment, stopping them so that Master Troy are able to take their boss more easily, and they do just about get it. Poor Jamara comes in on the easy. Good Divine Storm, but Uther is blown up. Rhaegar with the Ancestral Healing, keep the UTC completely alive. SMD is caught out again, misses another Arrow stun. Easily sidestepped by Zafran on that Rhaegar, and he gets knocked back by ETC and killed once more. They were there just short of in time to try and have a go at taking that boss from them, but they did take a good fight as a result of that. And their boss, meanwhile, was roaming free in the bottom lane, doing whatever damage he felt like doing. Took the rest of the fort that was needed and has taken at least one of those towers. Might not get the second before it dies. I do. Meanwhile, Mouse Control's boss has already been cleaned up with a full rotation. Only half Just damage done to that the top. top fort. And it looks like they're going to push in top and try and take that fort now for themselves, whilst they know that a good number of the opposing team is occupied down at the bottom half of the map. Now, level 13, we do see Feral Lunge for Rhaegar. Love seeing Feral Lunge. And that top keep is going to fall as well. We're going to have Relentless on the Stitches. We have Giant Killer on the Hammer. Um. Face smelt. That's an unusual one to see from ETC. Yeah. I believe is that correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's the talent tree that you get Uber Rockstar at, the one that adds a 20% move speed aura to his passive. That's a fantastic bit of utility to have. So it's it's unusual to see something else picked up instead, but I guess they just want the extra control because yeah, fading 80% people. slow over two seconds is an absurd slow. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what the Rhaegar's root on his uh, totem has changed to. Weezer actually getting caught out here, stunned, kept alive, barely. Does just get, get, behind get away thanks to that sprint. Good pickup for him. Uther taking sprint as well. Zeratul taking the predicted wormhole. Pretty uh, rare multi to see build out from Vala. He's okay. Now I'd like to see what how many regen masters stacks the Zeratul has had. He's on five and the Chen is on three, so actually Bota's been doing very well picking up his health globes. 
Indeed, I forgot that that's something we can now check with the new, uh, <laughs> the new spectator UI. It's something I'll have to remember in the future. Oh, good void prison there. Trapping the Zebo and the uh, ETC. Wormhole back into danger though. Zeratul's going to be picked up there. Once again, pulled straight out of position by the Stitches. He is making the Zeratul's life hard this game. Not quite letting him be quite as pokey and annoying as he, <laughs> annoying as he really wants to be. We've seen quite a strong push here from uh, Twisted Fusion. Hammer's just going to siege up. Now, Tribute has spawned top, or is spawning rather. Now, will they send somebody to go and take it, or are they just going to keep going with this push? At the moment, mm. it seems like they want to. Another good hook from Varukai, but Chen jumps in from behind and barrels him all the way back to their, to their uh, Nexus area, in fact. That is some serious zoning <laughs> down by that Chen. Took him on a wild trip straight back to their base. He had no chance of getting out of yeah. that one. This is going to force them to back away. Jamara getting hit by the Tyranno stun and hit by the Zeratul slow there, the ETC sliding through, Pradian taking a lot of damage on that Uther, good rain of vengeance there, catching out the Zachman again, another fantastic uh, Divine Storm, but that Weezer with all the with all the stuns used up is just going to pop Ravna Spirit, clear up the uh, the Chen, or was it the Tyranno, uh, it was cleared up the Tyranno rather, and then chase away the rest of Team Mouse Control. So overall, get a two for two. Over that long, long engagement, the stitches pick up. Now it seems Twisted Fusion are all just going to head up and try and take this tribute. Zeratul is on his way there. However, I don't think there's going to be a lot he can do to stall this out. Maybe he can make it last just long enough for his team to get there. Maybe that's not his intention. And he just wants to stall it out for a while. I mean, it's not the most important tribute in the game, this one. Both teams are 0-0 zero, zero for their tributes. This one is not really going to cause anything special to happen, so I wouldn't be surprised to see them just back off and let them take it. Good hook from the Stitches on Zimwin. He's falling really low and he doesn't actually get killed. The Putrid Bar coming out from Varakai just to try and get that nice pick off. The multi-shot took the uh, took the Vala in really close and uh, actually got picked up from that. Now uh, Jamaru on the UTC coming in from behind hoping to pick off the Chen and the Uther. They get in really deep there. Chen's actually dropping very, very fast. Prayed in, dropping the heels. Just may able to kind of walk out of that. Regen Master helping a lot there. Both the Tarande and Uther heals. Was, uh... Just going to back off and take that win. They got the pick off, put a lot of pressure on. Now, interestingly, the enemy boss, well, I say the enemy boss, depends on the perspective. The, <laughs> the red team's boss has now just spawned, and they're going to go and take that now. That Ruthless. could be a bit risky. Very aggressive play, I mean, but it looks like they're probably going to get down. Oh, will we see a Chen boss steal? I think he's going to go for it. No, he was a little bit too early, I it think. It looks like he's going to die for his trouble. He does. Zeratul jumps in. Good void prison, but Weezer goes in to stop from stealing the boss. We see the Star Soul come down doing good damage. Mosh Pit catches two. Weezer on the back. Ravnus Spirit doing a lot of work. Zafman keeping his entire team alive. Nobody's fallen to the side of Twisted Fusion. Zimwin's going to get picked up by that Feral Lunge. And the boss was taken by Twisted Fusion. That's so unfortunate for Mouse Control. If, team wipe. if Chen had jumped in like a second later, he would have been able to get that steal. No problem. Easy peasy. Just time Absolutely slightly. fantastic play by the Zeratul though. His, um, his Void Prism completely zoned Twisted Fusion out. Bar the Nazebo, who was able to sprint in just in time to. If he, was a bit bit, if he was a bit slower on his sprint button then, that would have been a boss thing for them as well. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be this time, and now they have a boss running in at their core. All five members of Twisted Fusion are alive, but it looks like they're going to let the boss just do its thing. They're just going to back off a different lane. Now, interesting to see, we see imposing presence on the Uther. Um, instead of potentially gathering power. He is in, in the front line quite a lot, so maybe not going to be above 80-90% health, as he would want to be. That imposing presence means that he's going to survive quite quite okay versus the, uh, I suppose, if any, any ability hits him, including the hammer splash damage. Yeah, that is an interesting interaction. If you're standing next to somebody who gets hit by Sergeant Hammer and you take splash damage while you have imposing presence, the hammer's attack speed does get slowed, even though he didn't attack you directly. So you can just stand next to and bodyguard anyone you don't want to take hammer damage. And just transfer that slow over. Now we see uh, a bit of posturing, maybe a potential engagement coming out for this 
boss in the bottom left the Twisted Fusion, who are going to engage it actually. No owl count coming out, oh, although there is the clairvoyance and the owl. They do they know this is happening, but unfortunately there's, there's no chance they can get there in time to do anything about it. And yeah, it just left it. We have all forts and keeps up still for Twisted Fusion, but only the one keep in mid lane up for mouse control. Who starts a wall there, but looking a bit injured. I hear you. Just clearing waves. We've got a whole team of mouse control down at their bottom watchtower, waiting to maybe set something up. Boaters out in front, scouting. We see Chen jumping over the Zafman. Starfall comes down, but doesn't actually do much. They just split and disengage. Jamaro sliding in and knocking everyone back. Pretty good disengage there from Twisted Fusion. A lot of stuff used, but nothing... Yeah, a, lot, a lot of spells are thrown down, but nothing actually happened for it. Yeah, we actually see the Putrid Bile used. As well as the Starfall from the Tyrant. Yeah, so a one for one. Razalak does now look like he's caught out. He does pop his bow, gets healed by the Uther. Able to roll to safety quite happily. But it did look a little bit risky. Wow, he actually gets Feral Lunge, caught out, almost killed. Is he going to die? Yes, he is. There's a great uh, Void Prison there from the Zeratul, but Zul's able to pick him off outside. Meanwhile, he was stuck in Jamari's mosh pit, and that is game. Boss just wailing on the core. Very impressive performance there from Twisted Fusion. They got ahead in the early game. They stayed ahead the whole time. They knew what they needed to do. They took objectives, forced the, uh, the opposing team to just always be on the back foot. They were always having to defend against the last thing that Twisted Fusion did. There we see 16 kills to 3. Very well played by Twisted Fusion. And uh, let's move on to game number 2 of this best of 5 series.